Hey everybody, I'm Jesse, and we're going to go through uh, one of my old projects that I am rehabilitating for Hacktoberfest 2022. Uh, so if you've watched my streams before uh, on my channel or on the Free Code Camp channel, you may have seen this project. I think we did a few streams on it. Now, I recently uh, updated all the packages on this repo uh, to the latest versions. Uh, so it's it's pretty much ready to go, uh, ready to be worked on. You can see the README needs a little work, uh, but we already have some issues. Uh, basically, this is just a basic math game uh, for children. Uh, so we'll, we'll run it in a minute, and I'll show you what the game is like. Uh, but I just want to run through a few of the issues first. Uh, so this video is mainly for people who may be looking for open source projects to contribute to. Uh, so I just want to give you an idea about some of the work that needs done. Uh, so our issues, we have some basic issues, right? Like there are some console errors that have to do with CSS. These would be really easy uh, to work on, probably changing, you know, maybe one line of CSS. Uh, some other ones may be a little bit more complicated, like uh, adding some background music. Uh, my my seven-year-old tested the game, and his recommendation was background music. Um, so that may require actually finding some uh, open source music or music we can purchase, uh, and then figuring out how to add that in. Uh, same way with this one, like a point system, a little bit more complicated. This probably requires some discussion. Um, some of these are, are going to be really easy. It's just documentation um, and like a code of conduct. Uh, so we already have links to example code of conducts that we can uh, copy and paste, maybe edit a few things uh, here and there. You know, think maybe if the if it contains the name of a different community, we might want to change that. Um, also a contributing guide. And this is the same thing. We have contributing guides, ex examples uh, that can be used. Character art. Is another one. I, I've pasted in uh, a link to something I'm considering, but if anybody's a, you know, an artist and wants to do some character art, uh, that would be a great uh, addition to the project that doesn't necessarily have to do with any code. Okay. Another one is adding TypeScript. This one would literally be going to the documentation for how to add TypeScript to a Create React app project uh, and then implementing that. And then this one is just all, all writing, no coding involved, just explaining more about what the project is. Uh, so maybe this is something that I can do, or you know, maybe after watching this intro video, uh, you might want to try to write up something. Uh, so there's a little bit of something for everybody, whether you're a writer, you're into documentation, um, or if, if you actually code, or you're a designer, an artist, uh, or potentially a musician, right? We, if you want to make your own background music for this game, uh, that would be pretty cool. Uh, but I thought this would be a good repo because there's such a variety of things that can be worked on. Uh, and a lot of them are really good for beginners. So let's check out the, the code. And we'll also run this app locally. Uh, and you can view the app online at uh, jessierweigel.github.io slash battlemath. And I'll probably put a link to that in the description of the video. So you don't have to type that all in. Okay, so here's our code. Uh, you can see it's it's pretty small project right now. If you look at the dependencies, we have two dev dependencies and just a handful of regular dependencies. I'm sure that'll probably change as we build it out. Uh, and we have our main file. Basically, everything is, is pretty much in one file right now. Um, in our app.js uh, file. So this is our main component. Uh, at some point, we'll probably have to split this out into different components. There might be a good you know, refactor issue to bring up. Um, but I'm not going to go through the code uh, line by line right now. We'll probably get more into it in future videos. But I just want to give you an idea of kind of the size of the project, the style of coding. So as I'm scrolling through, if you see anything that interests you, that you have questions about, you know, feel free to shoot me a question in the description or on, you know, or in the in the comments this video or in whatever social media you like. Um, but you can see, yeah, this is truly 
almost like the entire project is in this one file. So there's definitely some refactoring that could be done. This is files a little bit longer than I like <laughs> to have. Uh, and it definitely doesn't need to all be in this one file. So maybe I'm going to add, after this video, I'll probably add another issue uh, to break this app.js JS component up. We do have a few other components as well, little SVGs. Um, we have some custom hooks uh, so and a few utility functions. Right? But overall, still very small uh, project, and there's a lot of work to do. So let's run this. Let's see what window this is going to open in. All right, it opened in the the one when I wanted it to. Uh, so you can see here's the game. It's Battle Math. Um, we right now have this set on Edition. This is our hero character, which we just have a little person SVG for. These are our enemies, right? And uh, if I put in a wrong answer, more enemies appear. But if I put in a right answer, um, oh, why do they have to give me a hard one, right? <laughs> Uh, so we got that right. Oh, they're doubling up. That's probably not a problem. I'm wondering if that's like uh, something that we should try to prevent or the repetition would actually be good for learning. Probably be good for learning. All right, and then it says victory really small at the bottom and restart. So you see the UI needs a lot of work, and I'm definitely open to suggestions on this. I don't have a background in game design, uh, so uh, I'm sure there's a ton of stuff that needs to be taken into consideration and, and could be done to make it better. Uh, so I ideally, I think all the this button uh, here could probably be made bigger and put like towards the middle. Uh, there is... You know, definitely some character art would be good. Maybe background art, uh, potentially. Um, we can see we have subtraction, multiplication, and division as well. Um, I don't know if we want to do different backgrounds for each one. Probably should be some way to let the user know there's a difference. So a lot of potential. Uh, potentially even get into further categorization. Like maybe you want to do, you know, single digit, double digit. Um, for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And then we could add other uh, types of math problems as well. Right now, I just want to keep it small and get it to a point where, it, you know, it looks respectable, uh, it works reliably, and, you know, kids could start using it. And depending on the feedback that we get, that'll determine what the, the next features we would add would be. Uh, so... That's that's it for battle math. That's the project. Um, if anyone has any questions, uh, if you want to actually contribute to the project, check out the GitHub page. Uh, if you've just seen the video and maybe have some suggestions, you're not actually interested in the code, then you know leave a comment, reach out to me on social media. Um, but I would really love it if we had some awesome like collaboration on this project, especially for Hacktoberfest, so you could get those pull requests in and, and get that swag. Uh, and I will probably be live streaming some of the work on this. I'd love to live stream reviewing and accepting pull requests. I think that would be valuable uh, to show people and fun to do. So if you have any suggestions for me, please let me know. Uh, other than that, I hope you have a great day.